guys, welcome back to Paint and Place. Today we're going to show you how to paint one of the first mermaids that we've ever painted. And she's a lot of fun. She's a one stroke mermaid. Very simple to do. Just like with the beach scene, how we did shapes to build this, we built her with just a V and then a curve and a triangle. She's really a lot of fun because you can't mess her up. Say if you don't like what her face may look like, you can cover her with hair. We're not exactly doing a hand, we're just doing a sort of a V and we're going to place something in it, whether it be flowers or a mermaid glass and she's always sitting on something and looking out. Another really cool thing, we'll put a mirror in her hand with a little bit of a reflection of her face. Okay, so we're going to be using our Coastal Colors art paint to paint this mermaid. And I'm going to start with Sandy Toes to give us the base of her. And it's very simple, you just load your brush straight on and you start her by just making a V at the top and that's going to be her shoulders. And then I fill in the V and then we shade all this later. Making her sort of big, so the beach is in the background. Now remember, we've done the beach tutorial before, so if you want the beach background with her, go refer to our tutorial that we did that. If you don't want the beach background, you could just do a nice faux background and have her sitting on a tree branch, or wherever you, you're living that you feel that that would be appropriate. So we make the V. We don't come down to a point with the V. Then at the base of her back, all we're going to do is make the back part of her body. See how that is? So that's her sitting on something right there, and that starts her leg. And then all we do is the thigh of her leg is the same size as the tail part of her leg. So when you come out with her leg, it should be the same size as the body. So that would be your proportion. So you just make it tubular. And then all you're going to do after you get that, which again should be about the same height as the body, is the, is the thigh. You can make it thicker or thinner as you go. And then you want to come around the knee and bring her tail down, again, the same length as the upper part of the body. Now, this is just giving me an outline, so then afterwards we're going to go back through with a pretty teal, or you could do a pink if you're doing a little girl's room. You could do whatever colors you want, because remember, mermaids come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. So that would start us with her tail. Let's see how I'm making it more into a V now. Okay, her, her fin of her tail is always a lot of fun. Come to your point, and remember I'm just outlining her out right now. And I make a nice oval like the shape of a leaf, and then sort of swoop it around and bring it to a point to make her look like she's playing. And again, I'm just mapping this out with the beiges and the browns. I'm going to take her tail this way, but you can take her in the other direction if you, see, if you want to. And then you just sort of swirl it up so it looks like she's having fun. As if a t uh, like a dog would wag his tail, a mermaid would wag her fins, right? Make her happy. Then what you do, you come on up to the top, and you're going to make a circle for her head, in this case about an inch from the body, and then you want to give her shoulders and arms. And remember, for most of her shoulders and arms are going to be covered with hair. So don't get upset if you feel like you're not placing it right. So all you're going to do is give her her neck, come down from her neck and make a shoulder, and again, it doesn't matter because if you look back at this picture right here, look at how her hair covers most of her shoulders and her arms and her arm to the side. So like I said, we're not going to do any kind of hand. So the first hand comes down and you bring her down to a V and then she takes her hand into her waist and you don't see her hand because it's on the other side. And remember, a lot of this is going to get covered with hair. So don't be so upset if you feel like it's not perfect. The other arm is a little more important because you are going to see her shoulder. And then you're going to come down and then just pull it up. And she's going to be holding a martini glass today. She's saluting to a beautiful summer day here on the Jersey Shore, which we're having a great summer this year. And that's how we get the base of our mermaid. For her tail, we're using Caicos and Sea Spray, our coastal colors. We're going to do a one stroke sea stroke and double load of the small flat brush. And all you're going to do is you're going to make yourself a line where you're going to make her, her tail start. And again, double loading. And all this is is just C strokes all the way down. Nice and easy, simple. And just play with it. There's no rhyme or reason. The only thing important to remember is once you start turning down toward her tail and toward her fins, your C stroke is going to turn into the other direction. And now remember, her scales wouldn't be flat. They would be a little bit up and down here, so don't feel like you have to be perfectly straight with anything. 
Okay, so now I did my C stroke all the way down my tail. Look how pretty that looks. Looks very textured. It wasn't perfect on my edges. So now I'm going to go down to the fin. Again, the same thing as the double load of your brush. You're going to have your, your Caicos on the outside and you're just going to press around and give yourself a little dippity doo dah at the end there so that way she looks like she's having fun and she's happy. She's by the ocean side. We're all happy when we're by the ocean side. And I'm just going to make her tail a little bigger than I did the first time because I wanted it to be bigger. And remember, this is either you're a mermaid, so if you want a smaller tail, you can have a smaller tail. You can pick any colors that you want. We tend to love teals around here, so I paint a lot of blues and teals. See how pretty she is? And we're going to come back later and shade her a little bit more after I'm done. And just give a little tip. Okay, so now I did my C stroke all the way down my tail. Look how pretty that looks. Looks very textured. It wasn't perfect on my edges. So now I'm going to go down to the fin. Again, the same thing as the double load of your brush. You're going to have your, your Caicos on the outside and you're just going to press around and give yourself a little dippity doo dah at the end there so that way she looks like she's having fun and she's happy. She's by the ocean side. We're all happy when we're by the ocean side. And I'm just going to make her tail a little bigger than I did the first time because I wanted it to be bigger. And remember, this is either you're a mermaid, so if you want a smaller tail, you can have a smaller tail. You can pick any colors that you want. We tend to love teals around here, so I paint a lot of blues and teals. See how pretty she is? And we're going to come back later and shade her a little bit more after I'm done. And just give a little texture in the middle. And that's it. And then we're going to go down to the other tail. Again, nice and big and give me a little curly cue to the top. See how that brown was just the base so I see saw where I was going and to make sure that I had the right proportion that I wanted for her tail to her fin. And then I'm just going to bring it down and around. And fill it in. Down and around. And there we go. And we're going to shade her a little more later with a deeper teal blue. Isn't she fun? Then what I do afterwards is I might take the fins in the tail and go into the fin a little bit so that there's no one line there. Because she wouldn't be straight there. The scales aren't straight. Okay, so then what I do next is I take our jetty, which is our brown, and our large flat. And I'm going to single load the brush on the one side, blend it in so you're going from jetty to nothing. And then I'm going to shade her. And this is where all the depth comes into her back. And really give her a nice arch back there so it looks like she's sitting up on that whether you put her on a seashell or you put her on a palm tree, it's up to you. And then I come down and around. And give her her back. A little arch by her back. And then you take her shoulder. Just arch down around her shoulder. She would be a little bit tan because she's sitting up onto by the ocean side. Like again, we we're probably going to put her on a palm tree today. You could put it on a seashell like the last one I showed you. And I'm sort of just shading it and pulling up to her fingers because we're not going to really do much with the fingers because we're going to put something in the hand and you're not going to see it. And the same thing with her back. A lot of it's going to be covered with hair, so don't go nuts with trying to be perfect on what you're doing with the back unless you're giving her a short haircut. So I'm going to come down around here and just sort of shade around. You might see that with her hair. We make her blonde or brunette today. That's it, or a redhead. Mitzi, we love to make Mitzi red. She's good. She's a fun, funky mermaid. This one's a little bit more serious. So we might make her a brunette. I guess I shouldn't say that. Okay. Then from there, all I do is I take my striper brush, ink like consistency, and again, we're going to make her a brunette. And I'm taking the brown, and I'm just going to come down and bring her hair down and around. And look how simple that is and how she just comes to life. Now, your hair wouldn't be just one shade. It wouldn't just be brown, especially if you've been out in the sun for a while. So you would do highlights. You would use a little beige. You could use a little yellow. You could put a little red in there. You know, it depends on what you want your mermaid to look like. So I get the base of the hair just coming down off of her head. Fill it in really good with the browns. I like the striper because I like to see the hair strands. So I don't use a flat brush edge. I just... Use the striper brush. Then I might go back through with a little bit of white. Give it the undertones of the highlight. See how that fills in nicely. Good. 
Jessica, you're good. So the white gives me that undertone, and then I'm going to go back through with some more of my Jetty. So I did Jetty, I did Sea Spray, I'm going back with the Jetty, and this is just giving me lots of levels from the hair. Remember, the hair is covering up a lot of her body, so it's going to be a main part of this picture. What we want to do is just bring her it around so it overlaps on the top, and it makes a nice movement in, on your photo, very easy without doing too much work. Okay, so now I'm taking our sea glass, which is a nice dark blue, just to give the tail, the fin, a little bit of depth to it. So I'm just going to take that around and slide it in. And see how that pops that tail just a little bit? Okay, so next we want to put something in her hand. I think today what we're going to do is put a martini glass in her hand. So take your, your small flat brush with a really soft little dab of the black single load and you just make a V sitting right there in her fingers. See that? And that's the top of your martini glass. Really simple. You don't have to do a whole lot of detail unless you want to. And then I just bring down a nice stem and then just go across a little bit of the bottom. And you get the illusion of a little martini glass in her hand. And then I just bring her finger back over the glass a little bit. So it looks like she's holding it. And then from there we want to sit her on something. And I think what we're going to sit her on today is a palm tree. Most people like that. So all we do is we take a little bit of our jetty to get our shape. And we're going to bring the palm tree straight across and out from the picture. Go right down and in. And then you can bring it up to the other side. And that gives me the base of my palm tree. Really simple. So she's over here and she's sitting up high. Right? And then the same thing that we did for her tail. We're going to take sandy toes and jetty and we are going to do a little one stroke through large flat, double load the brush, and I'm just going to sort of zigzag all the way through and get myself the trunk of the palm tree. <clears throat> okay, so we did the trunk. Now we just want to put some palm fronds at the end. So I'm going to use sea spray. And the color that we have called Shutter. Now, Shutter is a very, very deep, dark, greeny, teal color. I actually mixed it to match a pair of 150 year old shutters that someone had brought into me from a house in Delmar here in the river that was destroyed after Sandy. And it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's not really too green, it's more of a teal, but we really do love it. So I would just give a nice, tall, long palm fronds. Not too many because I don't want to cover her. Just the idea that you can see that she's sitting up on this palm. And this, I get it in first, and after I get the palms in, I'll fill it in. And I like to do mine with the striper brush again, because it gives me a lot, a lot, a lot of depth in that palm. And you'll see how we go back through it with a couple other colors. A little zippy doo -dah at the end, so it makes it look so happy. Everything's about being happy here at the Jersey Shore. And we're going to be doing this picture where we started another business called Four Cork and Canvas over at Brando Restaurant on Monday nights starting in September. And this is one of the pictures we will be doing. So if you're local and you want to join us, it'll be a lot of fun. So there are palm fronds coming down. I might put a little bit of green in there, I mean brown in there to give it some shading and depth. You can see how I'm not being so perfect with it. I want to pull a couple palms over the top just to give it a little more whimsy and detail. And I think it needs a little bit of Benny. Benny is one of my favorite colors that I make. It's just fun. It's a lime green, and it would just do the, be the reflection or the dying palms in the, in the tree as it goes. See how that just adds a little more depth to that? And from here, the only other thing that I would do is we want to add some embers so we give some depth back into the sky. And we do that with our summer's night, which is our black. Now, our colors are available. You can contact us on our website, on our Facebook page, YouTube. Look at that. She's saying salute to a nice, happy day here on the Jersey Shore. And voila.